All right, gonna do a uh, unboxing here of the uh, new belt that I ordered from Core Essentials. EDC uh, belt. I went with their uh, uh, their brand over some others. I essentially did a whole lot of research and just uh, liked what I saw here. So uh, going to give this a try. There's many different price points out there, a lot of different options. So I'm going to review this belt for you, let you see kind of what's going on, what it comes with and everything. And and uh, after I've had a chance to try it on, wear it for a while, you know, probably give it a couple of weeks at least of everyday wear just to give you an update of where I stand. But uh, essentially you open it up, a uh, nice packaging, very nice uh, pamphlet here, uh, quick sizing and, and uh, what have you. Very nice product here. Uh, show your support, get 10% off your next order, so that's kind of nice. Uh, here's my invoice, my packing uh, portion. Uh, I did uh, go ahead for, it was like two or three dollars and get the, um, uh, this basically hangs up in your closet and you can attach your belts to this so that uh, it keeps them held because obviously these are very, uh, they, they don't fold up all that small. So essentially it was a couple of dollars. I figured why not. Uh, here's the uh, buckle here. And the uh, portion goes into here that's obviously going to be held down pretty much permanently and then you slide the other end into this side and as you're sliding it it connects into this kind of like a almost like a handcuff mechanism um, so when you're this has the track line on the back of it so if you're hanging this up in your closet uh, you can see it kind of goes in there and hangs tight and you can press the release button to get your belt off so for two or three dollars, I figured why not. I'll, I'm sure I'll end up with two of them. Uh, these pieces right here, these uh, are coming with the belt purchase now. Um, I'm really surprised you get two of them. I think that's actually that's that's a big gesture on uh, Core's part. Um, this essentially goes over the end of the belt loop where you tuck the extra through, and it kind of keeps it held tight. I saw on a lot of the initial reviews, uh, really before the product even came out, uh, that everybody was recommended that they needed something similar to this to go on the end of that belt to hold it in tight, uh, in place. So, uh, very good that they listen to their customers in that fashion. So, get this out of here, get the, uh, you can see it unwinding already. She's ready to get free. Um, basically, uh, get this thing out of here I did order uh, two colors here um, and when you're actually going through and placing the order you actually have uh, you actually have a spot where it says would you like to add a second second belt you know second color for such and such price uh, based I don't know if you guys like five or ten dollars off for uh, for going ahead and ordering a second color so I figured why not from the result the reviews that I read uh, everything seemed very positive so went ahead and ordered the extra so uh, first look here I can tell this is very rigid you can't press this together you can't bend it in that fashion um, very good quality nylon it's got a good look to it uh, everything uh, feels very sturdy you can tell it, it does have some um, some additional pieces in here in the middle that are sewn in there real tight uh, I can feel that flipping it over nice nice material here um, not really sure what this material is but man it's it, it's got a good feel to it but uh, you get down here towards the uh, towards the end and you can actually see where it has some measurements here to help you uh, get the proper measurement going on um, so uh, that'll come into play here in just momentarily and um, passing it back obviously as you can tell it's so stiff it's just flopping everywhere um, got their core gun belt uh, logo and everything there and then there starts the track line so that's what the uh, what that uh, belt buckle is going to do it's going to pass through um, 
you will put this in here and it's going to pass through and be kind of like a handcuff key it's going to come down and when you're ready when that's where you want it to be it, it stops it will not come any farther if you need just a smidge more you can push it a little bit more uh, basically this is a quarter inch so every every quarter inch you can adjust this belt to where it'll get uh, tighter or looser whereas your typical belt loops are typically somewhere in the ballpark of one inch increments so just wanted to show you that right there uh, once again when you push it down it latches down tighter uh, show you the other side the front side that's actually a very very nice a very sleek look um, very pleased with uh, with how that looks I like how you can see the belt through that uh, this one's black uh, the other one is the kind of camel color if you will so I think it'll be real sharp on there as well um, basically when you've got this on uh, you can make it a little bit tighter by pressing down and then this mechanism right here you just press it to release and it comes off uh, once again kind of like a handcuff key so uh, essentially what we're going to do is get this thing ready to be cut uh, I have seen where this thing is very very tight um, uh, very hard to cut because of how nice a quality it's made so I'm going to uh, wrap this around me I'm going to see about what, what size I am and then uh, the, the instructions here when you read over these instructions it actually tells you exactly what you need to do uh, basically on the back of the leather you get the uh, you find your pant size and then you want to add four inches so obviously if you want a little more overlay you would add more than four inches uh, but using sharp scissors trim it off so essentially if you typically have a pant size of 34 you want to cut the belt to 38 uh, and then you insert the belt buckle into the teeth and clamp it down firmly and then you feed it around tip it on in there the belt tip should be at least three to four inches beyond your first belt loop so that's why you add uh, approximately four inches to your pants size. So um, essentially, uh, looking here, let's just um, use even numbers here. Uh, let's say say your pant size 40. Um, what you would want to do is add four. So you would come all the way out to where it says 44, and you would make your knife cut or your scissors cut right along that line. That way you'll have that extra left over. Now on your first cut, if you've got a little bit of extra time, you may want to come out another inch or two just to be safe because you can always cut that last little bit off. So um, I'm not going to do all of my measuring here on camera. I'm actually going to do just wrap it around my waist off camera, uh, see where we stand. And I'm also going to see how hard this is to cut. Um, I've got a couple of items here. One's just a regular pair of scissors, nothing fancy nothing heavy duty and then I've got a knife here to see uh, what uh, what we can do so if uh, if it will cut with just scissors that'll be great otherwise we'll get the knife involved uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my measuring and then see what my pants uh, waist size is I know what size waist I'm uh, pants I'm wearing right now so I'm just gonna see if anything uh, changes with this belt according to their measurements cores measurements and then whatever number I come up with, I'll add four and we'll go from there. All right, I've got my measurements here. I know where I want this uh, belt cut and I know what size I want. So I've added my four inches and on this particular one, since this is my first, uh, my first belt of this nature, I am going to add a little bit more. I'm the type of person I would rather uh, cut once and see if it works and then cut twice but um essentially i don't want to cut too much off and and then um <laughs> have a belt that's wasted but just show you a real quick overview here of the belt here on the open end um there is a little bit of a string hanging here um obviously i'm getting ready to cut this off anyway but i've got a feeling what i'm probably going to do is once i cut this i'm going to hit this end here with a lighter just to kind of and get this nylon portion you know freed up I know that's what typically everybody does with the uh, this type of material 
but you've got one layer here, which is this bottom, almost like a layer that you would see a lot of holster cases made out of. You got this brown layer here, add a little bit of uh, additional support. Then you've actually got a layer in here that's a little smaller, which is uh, you can actually feel it kind of raised when you put your fingers on the, uh, on the belt. So that's the portion that's actually giving it a whole lot of its rigid feel. Then it has the nylon on the outside. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a cut. We're gonna see how hard this is to cut. Uh, I have measured it out just a little bit larger than what I really uh, than what I really need, just to be on the safe side. I do have a knife here that. Uh, uh, relatively sharp, but it's not uh, not a knife that I carry all that often, so it's not not the sharpest one I have by any means. But uh, as you can tell, uh, it's cutting through and doing the trick. I'm just trying to be very easy too. Don't want to go messing up anything I've got here on the table. So uh, basically, you can see that knife just took right on through it. Um, I don't really want to. Uh, want to use the scissors if I don't have to. These are not very special uh, special scissors at all. So the knife worked very well for that project. So I'm gonna go ahead and free up, uh, get some of these little strings here, and then uh, hit this end with a uh, lighter. That way I can get everything kind of singed and that way it won't continue to spread and what have you. So I'm gonna do that off camera real quick and I'll be right back. Back here after I uh, went and used the lighter, just kind of hit the tips here, just barely ran over with the uh, grill lighter, um, just a couple of times back and forth, got rid of all the little flyaways. I uh, actually did a really good job there. So on this end with all the measurements, that's the end that the uh, the belt loop or the belt buckle actually attaches to, uh, because obviously the other end is the end where all the track. Uh, track assembly is so uh, this track assembly portion actually connects into the belt when you're putting it on so uh, we'll put this uh, belt buckle on this side so essentially this little piece opens up get it to an open position and insert this into it uh, you'll want to make sure that it goes in um, all the way here all the way in up against the uh, the that piece there and then you'll want to make sure that it is uh, centering up here um, you don't want your belt to be sitting cockeyed down or up you want it straight in but you want it perfectly level so I'm going to uh, go ahead and start to seat these teeth I'm going to take a quick peek at it make sure that we are uh, level here because I really don't want to have it going the opposite way and going down or up or what have you. So let's see how hard these teeth are to, to insert in. Okay, so you do have to put a little bit of pressure there, but that was not very hard at all to, to place it in there and get everything lined up. It looks like we are level. Go ahead and put a good, a good pull on that and it's, it's on there. It's not going anywhere. So, uh, now we'll get this piece wrapped around here and get everything up here on the table to where you can see it. Um, you got your track line on this side over here and you got your belt buckle here. Slide that right on in there and you can hear it working there. So that's how you uh, get this belt buckle uh, this fitted together. Obviously it's not gonna pull apart, I'm pulling pretty tight there. Uh, so it's similar to a handcuff situation and then when you're ready to take it off You just press this little lever here and it releases on the back and then you'll actually pull that on out of there uh, out of the back uh, when you're ready, so that uh, That portion that lever actually kind of pulls towards the front here. So you almost pinch it uh, to make it come out so um, Once again, you just kind of pinch that lever towards the front and it just slides right on out. So there's the uh, brief unboxing and opening uh, and getting everything ready. 
just wanted to show you this product show you right out of the box what i thought of it uh, as far as quality but uh also just wanted to get this on record so that i can hurry up and wear this thing very excited to see how well it does how well this uh, belt performs uh, with uh, concealed carry and everything else that's going to be placed on it uh, all of my everyday carry items so give it a couple of weeks or so uh, we'll see how long it takes me to feel comfortable with it and i'll do an update here with uh, my thoughts on how it goes thanks for watching